Hello and welcome back to this Deadpool Scratch Junior tutorial um, on how to make a game in it. Um, basically, we've got some characters here. So I've made a Deadpool um, and there's a background and a tornado. The aim of the game is for Deadpool to avoid the tornado. We've got a success page and a game over page as well. So let me take you through. First of all, we've got Deadpool as the character. Essentially, what I've done there is I have adapted the Scratch junior cat and i think that looks pretty cool if you need a tutorial on how to do this please leave a comment below and i will make that for you uh, next we've got the apartments now essentially we want it to look like the uh background is moving and deadpool is running so these apartments here these buildings all have the same code which is them moving slowly this way so that's the same for all of those Obviously, screenshot as you go along um, to make sure that you, you get the code if you want to make your own version. Now, the actual hurricane is um, coded to go this way and start when it is um, on the green flag. If it makes its way past without being touched to 14 squares, it goes to the success page, which is that one. And then Deadpool is just um, coded to go backwards and forwards. And the text button there is used to write success. However, if the tornado touches Deadpool, then it goes to the game over page, um, which essentially means that Deadpool is spun around and around and around for a bit in the tornado, then spat out and come down again and lands on top of the game over, um, the game over sign. And the, the actual tornado has no code whatsoever in it. So that I think this is pretty cool, actually. So it goes round and it spits him out. Up he goes, down, then lands quite dishevelled on top of the game over screen. Um, right. So here is the buttons for the joypad. So when the left button press, it sends an orange message. Red, it sends a, a, a red, sorry, the red button sends a red message. And when the yellow button, which is the jump button pressed, it sends a yellow message. Let's have a look at those in a little bit more detail. So the orange and the red are fairly self-explanatory. Once they're pressed, uh, it sends a message and it's, it moves Deadpool left or right, orange and red. But for the jump, we need it to go over the tornado, which is not quite as easy as it seems. So you have to do two simultaneously, which makes the Deadpool go up and then across and then down again. And we want it to make like a U shape. So if I just show you, once we start this, it goes up and then down. And it's not quite as easy to do, um, but I think it's a really, really good exercise in just uh, learning how to manipulate the characters a little bit. So that's what we need to do to make this one. Let me give you another run through again. So full screen to start. Here we go. Jumps over the tornado for success. Great stuff. Let's reset to here. This time he's not going to be so successful. So uh, green flag to start. Tornado hits them spins him round, spits him out, up he goes, and lands dishevelled on the game over sign. I actually quite enjoy the game over a bit more than the actual succeeding, but hope you enjoyed that and have fun making it. Any questions, please leave it in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.